All right, Coach, I'd like to start with an opening statement, and then we'll take questions. Um, I'd like to thank Coach Paulson and his squad for coming out, man. They played great. Coach Paulson, obviously, we know him very well. He knows us very well. That's why we wanted to play each other. Um, such a good coach, man, and he had them ready to play. They made some serious plays, especially um, off of one-on-one -on -one drives, which is something that we got to continue to get better. And usually that's, that's what happens in these types of things. We were very excited, very amped up to play our first opponent since, what, I don't know, March of whatever, what last time we played someone else. So uh, that's to be expected. But uh, I love the fact that we got really aggressive we made some big time plays on defense when we needed to. Forced 18 turnovers, which is what we're trying to do. Uh, we just got to do a better job of, of converting those turnovers. Um, our points off of turnovers were 16, right? We, 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 with, with 18 turnovers, that's got to be well in the 20s and even in the 30s um, when you're converting those, okay? Whether or not it's from the free throw line or in transition, we got to do a better job converting off of the turnovers that we created. Um, I thought we did a much better job on the offensive glass in the second half. We had zero in the first half. We ended up with 10 in the second half. That's big time. Now we just got to even that out because we're capable of doing that against teams that were a little bit more athletic then, right? Uh, we had a couple guys out, which our size and some of our experience obviously hurt us a little bit. Um, there'll definitely be a couple of those guys hopefully back for next week, which will, be, which will certainly help with the size and the rebounding factor. But, you know, like every other team at this point, we got a lot to clean up. And uh, but this group stayed connected. You know, they, it, they didn't get down. They made the plays at the end when they needed to. They made their free throws, which was big for us. Obviously, after last year, we struggled from the free throw line, which was which was big for us. And so I think those were huge points for us. And these guys stepped up and made some serious plays when needed to. But we got to clean up a lot, and everybody knows that. And these guys have been working as hard as anybody we've been around, and uh, we'll continue to get to work next week. Same. Uh, Jack, could you talk about, you guys had 16 points off turnovers, could you talk about you know, your guys' effort in turning, turning defense into offense and taking advantage of those opportunities? Yeah, that's something uh, we work on every day, uh, playing 100, playing full court man-to-man, -man, trying to run and jump, so that's something we definitely emphasize every day on a daily basis. Coach, you obviously made a decision to do a lot of traps off of the ball screens, and can you just speak to like how you think the, your players performed in that situation, doing something that's obviously not usually able to happen defensively. Yeah, I mean, I think they did a fantastic job. We turned them over 18 times, which is obviously something that, that I think with our speed, our athleticism, and eventually with our depth, um, I think will be really beneficial for us. We've been working a lot on that. These guys enjoy it, and it and it's picks up the pace, and you know it allows us, especially today when we were kind of undermanned without Abdu and – um, without Josh, without Jameer Tripp. I mean, those are big bodies. So, you know, we needed to use our speed and our athleticism. And I thought that was the biggest difference in the game. And we knew they had some young guards that were going to struggle a little bit when you, when you sped them up. And, um, and, and I think we did a really good job off the ball, not only in the traps. Um, we did a, a, a great job anticipating off the ball. So that's something uh, you're going to see a lot more of throughout the year. Uh, Jeff, hey, you had four assists today, including that one uh, alley oop to, to Ramad. Can you talk about just the difference, you know, in year two of the program, just being more comfortable with your teammates and just how how easy, how much easier it is coming into this season uh, compared to last season? Um, trust, like we we've been in here since last season. Like we didn't stop. We have just been grinding, battling against each other, battling with each other. So just being able to go play somewhere else, it was just like yo, it's flowing. Throw it up, Mod's gonna go get it. Just know what everybody's tendencies are. Being able to rely on everybody to make shots, to catch the lob, to speed people up. Everybody playing their role. Coach, yeah. Sorry, Coach, following up on that, can you just kind of talk about what you've seen in progression from years one and two to where it looks like he's going to have a much more yeah. prominent part in the offense this year? Yeah, I mean, Ramad, obviously, um, you know, the last month and some change, I believe, he started in the Atlanta 10 last year because he's just his motor and the, how hard he plays. And he doesn't really try to do more than what he's capable of kind of lets the game come to him, and he just plays harder than almost everybody on the floor uh, at that position. So um, his energy, especially over the ball, his run and jump, he wears teams out, and then on the offensive glass he goes every time. He, he's much more physical than you would think. His body is doesn't look like it, but he's strong as hell. He's athletic, and he plays so hard. And he put in so much work this summer uh, with his ball handling and his his skills in the paint. Um, again, he doesn't take too many dribbles, so he gets to a spot, and then he just keeps it simple. 
So I love the fact that he's developed the way he has, and he's gotten a lot more confident. Luke. Jackie, this is your first time playing with these guys against a different opponent. Obviously, it ends up in a pretty good game, the box score. But in terms of game flow, running through sets and whatnot, how do you think that all felt? I think it'll. I think it'll be great. You know, we have the three guard front, and we have other guys like Ramad, Trip, who didn't even play today. Um, Madhu, Josh, Fetty right next to me. You know, so I feel like it's, it's going to be really good. Coach, you gave some run in this game to Jaden Smith and Ryan Pettis. What did you see from them this freshman? I thought. I mean, I thought both of them looked like, you know, sophomores and juniors. Jaden Smith was fantastic, right? His length really disrupted, and he can guard. So we were switching one through five with him in the game a bunch. Um, but then he did a great job on, when we weren't switching with the five, switching one through four. And then, you know, he did a great job of, of cleaning things up and traps and had a couple blocks from, from on, on the ball and then off the ball he came over. Um, he's developed so much. And uh, with Abdu out, he had to t play a lot more minutes. And I think um, that's happened over the course of the last couple of weeks. We haven't had a, a bunch of... Um, uh, subs in practice, so he's gotten a ton of reps, and he's just become a sponge. Both of them, him and Ryan Pettis, have been sponges, and they got guys to look up to. They, you know, Jane's going up against Abdu in practice, and Matt Zona, another fifth-year senior. You know, uh, Ryan Pettis gets to go against, you know, seniors, seniors, Zach Riley, senior, and Will Richardson, a junior. So um, they, they've really learned from these guys, and they've, again, uh, they've continued to grow. They got a lot of talent. And uh, over the course of the year, they're going to continue to get better and better and better, stronger as well. But really excited about uh, the way they played today, for sure. And the, 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 more. the free throws. Obviously, that was a harping point last year with some yeah. of the struggles. 15 of 18 a day. Obviously, one game. But yeah, no, no, no doubt. I mean, we've been we've been spending a lot of time on our, our two-point field goals around the basket and then our free throws, both of which we were last place in the Atlantic 10. So this entire summer and fall, we've worked on that at Nausea. These guys are aware of some of the drills that we've run, maybe not like them so much, but um, you know, but these guys are big time. Now they, they're, they're very experienced and mature guys. They know what they need to do to finish games. They put the energy and effort in the gym when they're shooting their free throws. So it was nice to see the ball go through the basket. Sam? Uh, Coach, could you talk about uh, just the opportunity to put on an exhibition game for uh, Able Athletics? Yeah, I don't know if anybody saw my daughter out there, but I have a daughter with Down syndrome, and uh, my wife is heavily involved in the in the foundation, and um, you know, it, it's just uh, something really special to me, my family, and I. Um, and it's it's a great thrill that we're able to do what we we are to you know today and then next week, and hopefully we fill it up a little bit more next week so even more of the money goes to Able and then later on in the year we'll do a game where we bring all the Able athletes for sure to 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 an Atlantic 10 game or a non-conference game, uh, but it's really special for my family and I to be able to give back to to a foundation that's giving something to our daughter and so many others. All right, thanks guys. Appreciate Thank it. you so much. Thank you. Go Rams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.